Roaches and dirty conditions lead to reinspections for a local restaurant and coffee shop and a convenience store with a history of low scores. It's not the first time the night team's Tim Gerber has reported on the problems behind their kitchen doors. Picnic Foods, located in the 1200 block of South General McMullen, had their June inspection score of 81 posted right on their front door. It was a two-point drop from the 83 they had when they were on BKD back in January. This time, there was a roach in a cooler on the service line, as well as many flies in the business. That roach came in contact with ready-to-eat lettuce and cut tomatoes. The pickle tongs were rusty, the ice scoop found on top of the dirty ice machine, and the ice bucket was broken and cracked. The inside of the ice machine had a pink and black mold-like substance growing on the walls. They also needed to clean up grease that was caked on the floors, equipment, and walls. A reinspection was ordered. Lucy's Cafe in the 500 block of West Mitchell Street earned an 82. Some foods were found held at improper temperatures. A bag of chili powder had live weevils, while a bag of dried shrimp had ants. Small live roaches were also spotted near a sink. Metal racks in a refrigerator had peeling paint, and they needed to do a thorough cleaning. They were given 10 days to make corrections before reinspection. Jim's Restaurant, located at the corner of Culebra and Loop 1604, earned an 86 and a reinspection. This is the third time the business has been on BKD. Raw chicken in a cooler was too warm, it was moved to a working cooler. There were live roaches along the cooking line and in a non-working cooler. The business told to intensify cleaning efforts to remove food and grease buildup on the walls, floors, and ceilings. They were also told to stop storing employee hats on top of clean plates. From behind the kitchen door, Tim Gerber, KSET 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSET.